Today we're diving into the, well, absolute latest battleground data from the global electric vehicle war. This new report comes from CounterPoint Research for the third quarter of 2025, and it shows us who is winning, who is surging, and what it all means for the future of the auto industry. Global EV sales surged by a massive 40% year on year in the third quarter, and for the first time ever, global EV penetration hit a new milestone of 18% worldwide. That's fully electric, 18%, and up from about 13% one year ago. In fact, there's about 18.7%. So that's a pretty big change. Interestingly though, hybrid sales, plug-in hybrids in particular, have only grown by a few percent this year worldwide. So EVs are growing much, much, much faster. Let's start with the individual model dominance though, because this is where Tesla still reigns supreme. First place was the Tesla Model Y with 164,633 deliveries globally in Q3. Tesla Model 3 wasn't too far away with 77,300 deliveries. And in third place was the Geely GM Xing Yuan. Considering that car is only sold in China, imagine if it was sold worldwide. I mean, I think Geely would be number one if they were selling that vehicle worldwide. So that's two Tesla models occupying the top two spots in global EV sales volume, and none of them are BYDs. None of the top three are BYDs, but that said, BYD sales are still pretty damn impressive in the third quarter. Tesla's refresh of the Model Y and the introduction of the long wheelbase Model Y in China were key drivers behind their success. But to be honest, this is the third quarter. The truth is the Model Y L really didn't start deliveries properly until October of this year. So I think Tesla sales will be more affected by that vehicle in the fourth quarter of 2025. Despite fierce competition, the Model Y and Model 3 remain extremely compelling to a lot of people. But here's the curveball. The third best selling EV model globally was the Geely Galaxy Xing Yuan. Yes, a Geely model is now competing directly with Tesla's top sellers and could, could beat them next year. Now I don't have its exact sales figure, but as you can see, it's, it's in third place. There's no question about that ahead of any models from BYD. While Tesla leads in individual model sales, when we look at overall brand volume, BYD maintains absolute leadership in the global EV market. That's in spite of the fact that their EV sales and their car sales in China have gone down over the past few months. BYD's EV sales neared an astounding 600,000 units in Q3 alone, a 33% year-on-year increase. So its EV sales are up 33%, but its plug-in hybrid sales have fallen significantly. It's showing a very interesting trend. And I did a video on this saying hybrids are dead because they are. Hybrid sales globally this year have barely increased. They're only up by about 2%. In the last few months, they've gone down globally. And the reason is because of China. But getting back to BYD, the company is still an absolute juggernaut, even though its sales growth has basically stopped. Their competitive edge is a very diversified product portfolio. Their global EV sales outside of China, global car sales outside of China, have increased enormously this year by more than 200%. And of course, they've got EVs and plug-in hybrids in almost every car sector, every category. They've got more than 62 models. And I say more than 62 because I know they've I know that since I last counted a month ago, they've released some new models. Their best-selling models included the Seagull, the Dolphin, and the Addo 3. And BYD isn't just winning in China, they're making massive inroads overseas. They exported over 150,000 cars in Q3, representing 27% of their total EV sales. They are surging in Europe, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. This is a truly global takeover in progress. Now, what about Geely? Well, Geely, they have been growing a lot. Tesla holds 13% global market share for EVs, which is higher than their global market share in the previous quarter. But Geely is in third place in terms of market share, and Geely saw a phenomenal 51% year-on-year increase in Q3 EV sales. That's across the entire Geely group giving them a 10% global market share of all EV sales, 10%. This incredible growth is being driven by their Galaxy and Zika brands, especially in China's budget and mid-tier EV segments. Galaxy is the real sales. Really, that's where they're getting the majority of their EV sales. Geely's strategy is quite smart. Combine affordable pricing with advanced software features, and this is actually really resonating deeply with domestic consumers in China. The Galaxy Xing Yuan, Galaxy E5, and Geometry Panda Mini EV are absolute powerhouses. 
China remains the primary growth engine for global EV sales, contributing 60% of the total worldwide. And last month, yeah, in November, 60% of all cars sold in China were electric or electrified. 60%. Of those, 62% were fully electric. So plug-in hybrids, their sales in China are going down, but they're... Fortunately, China's EV sales are doing the exact opposite. Next, Europe had the second highest market share worldwide of EV sales, and they were, they were followed by the United States. But interestingly, sales of EVs outside of those countries worldwide, so excluding the US, ex excluding Europe, and excluding China, sales of EVs increased worldwide by 48% this year. Dynamism and aggressive pricing coming out of the Chinese market are clearly reshaping the entire global landscape. So here's the new hierarchy of the global EV market. Tesla continues to dominate to, in individual model sales with the Model Y and Model 3. But BYD is still outselling them. They are the absolute volume leader with almost 600,000 sales in Q3 and a growing global footprint, particularly exports. Geely is the fastest growing challenger, surging with incredible percentage growth and capturing significant market share. Some of the smaller companies though, like Xiaomi and Xpeng and Leap Motor, they are growing their sales even faster than these three companies. Percentage terms, that is. This is the most exciting time to be doing this job. The market is exploding. Competition is driving innovation and prices are coming down. Battery pack prices, Bloomberg NEF says, have come down by 42% for energy storage and about 10% for EV packs this year. The 18% global penetration is just the beginning. Next year, it's gonna hit closer to 30%. So guys, what do you think about these results? What do you think about what's happening in the global car market? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.